It's been a while, I've had a lot of bleh, but I'm ready to do this again, so let's see more shitty Steam pages. Domino, the little one. Adventure platformer, 2D platformer, indie. Hand-drawn 2D adventure, trying to be limbo but not as dark. Looks like it's trying to be very atmospheric, but the animation is kind of dull and the platforming is okay at best. Command Center Earth. Action, casual, arcade, space, retro, sci-fi. Oh, it's another one of those avoid things with kind of Newtonian physics. To victory! Casual simulation strategy 4X RTS 3D. UI seems... Uh, okay. Not sure what the actual gameplay here, but I guess that's not that easy to find in 4X games. Defenders Guild. Casual strategy point and click tower defense. This is not a point and click. Yeah, it's just your basic tower defense. Pixel graphics. Kinda looks like a JRPG. I don't really know. Space Killer. RPG 2D loot. Space bullet hell roguelite. Why is this a bullet hell? It's kind of like a bullet heaven but in space. Classic wormhole picture. Looks kind of cool. Definitely different, but I think... Was it Star Defender? Looks better. But cool concept. Survival Fantasy. Action roguelite, action hack and slash PvE. What is going on? It's also very jittery. Reptile Chronicles. Action battle royale arena shooter 3D PvP. These look like a lot of store bought assets because it doesn't really mesh with anything anywhere. And it's really weird. The controls do not look good. On the Axis, casual puzzle board game single player. You're turning things off in a mirror-like fashion. I don't think it's really that tough. Inspired by Vampire Survivor, like almost everything right now. Devilish Blind Date, top-down shooter casual action adventure. Yeah, basically another badly done Vampire Survivors. AVM. Wasn't there another AVM game not too long ago? Early Access action adventure RPG. Kinda looks like my first Unreal Engine project. Pallet Panic. Strategy top-down transportation score attack. But what? How? Why? Is a weird. Galaxy Bricks is a not very polished Arcanoid. Gravity Castle. Early access 2D platformer puzzle Metroidvania. Well, this definitely looks interesting. Platforming looks a bit basic. Art style is kinda cool. Rotational mechanics. Well, if you're missing a platformer in your life. Cyber Avenger Early Access Casual Strategy Action Shooter. What's so strategy about this? Looks like a common top-down shooter. With some weird aesthetics. Dino Survivors. Casual roguelite action adventure dinosaurs. Always with that dinosaurs tag. Yeah, looks like another Vampire Survivors clone. But is there anything else to it? Because I don't see it. Burglar's Bazaar, Simulation Heist Sandbox Building Life Sim. That's a combination. Okay, you're running around stealing stuff. You have a drone. Looks like the UX isn't great. UI not so great either. Wild Omission is an open world multiplayer sandbox survival game with severe weather where you kill green cows with a rock and have a bad UI. Okay, so it's not doing anything interesting. Evil Diary, Zombies Action, Casual Shoot 'em Up 2D. On rails shooter, and also very jittery. Shell's Kitchen is definitely an overcooked ripoff. Backwards, early access crafting building base building. So it's a survival game from an isometric perspective. Colony management? But I don't see anything here except building some stuff. Okay, I guess there is a character, and it reminds me a lot of survival mobile games. Top space, top down shooter, action, score attack, casual. Looks like another bullet heaven, but different? Quite strange. Angola 86, strategy, turn-based strategy, war game, tactical. The entire South African border war. Looks like hex-based grand strategy. Also kind of niche considering. Cowpocalypse. 2D casual pixel graphics single player retro. You play with a flying saucer to kidnap cows. I'll admit that's kind of funny, and I played a similar game back in the 90s. But I don't see anything interesting about it. Honeycomb The World Beyond. Exploration, sandbox, survival, sci-fi, 3D. Survival a sandbox game set on an exuberant planet. Yeah, this looks kind of cool. 
I like survival games and this gives me a uh, Subnautica slash No Man's Sky vibe but focused a lot more on base building. So yeah, I'm keeping an eye on this. And if we're already here, let's look at the Discovery Queue. Maybe we'll find something new. The Walking Dead Destinies for December 1st. I've heard of this game. I've heard it's horrible. I've seen clips. Combat is dumb. Pretty much everything is dumb. Might look good, but plays like shit. Raining Blood Hellfire. Early access bullet hell survival zombies 2D. Okay, very jittery, but I get the appeal. Looks like Vampire Survivors if it wanted to be Nuclear Throne. Half Sword is a physics-based medieval combat simulator where you chop people to pieces! Okay, I get the appeal. This is kind of cool, but it looks very, very ragdolly. And controls is everything in a game like this. Stress? Out. Top-down gore shooter where you can use special abilities to destroy enemies to let some stress out. Okay, so it's something that wasn't given much thought. Got it. West of the Witchlands is a twin-stick shooter roguelike about killing ancient gods with magic and revolvers. Those are definitely words that can combine into some kind of sentence. But it looks very jittery and not sure exactly what it is. Okay, that's it for today. I guess I'll see you in a couple more days with the next critique of Steam Pages. Thank you for watching. Stay good. Have fun.